Tailgating and fall go hand in hand. And so does chicken on the grill. Yes, it and does. And Laura, you've got a recipe coming up here that mm -hmm. is gonna be, I, I think you're just gonna be like licking your fingers at the end because it's gonna be just sweet and gooey. And we're grilling and fall is the perfect time to grill. That's what I like about this recipe is that you all the heavy lifting is done before you leave the house. Nice. And there's really no heavy lifting because you're making the spices do all the work. And I like to call it autumn spice mm -hmm. because I'm adding all kinds of flavors that are more earthy through the spice infusion that we're gonna do. And the, the key to this is to start it overnight. Okay. Or at least eight hours before you plan on cooking the chicken. I recommend overnight because it's just easier. The legs are perfect for grilling. But since this is tailgate season, I mm -hmm. thought, you know, let's kick this upstairs a few notches. Okay. You know, me with okay. the spices. So I went with Japanese seven spice. Seven spice. Instead of Ooh. the Chinese okay. five spice. Okay. So it actually shows you the spices. It looks like there's some black sesame, sesame. seeds in here. Mm -hmm. There's some garlic chunks in here. It's really nice. It's a beautiful, beautiful start to this recipe. And then I've got some plain old garlic shake. For speed and convenience, just a, a good shake of the garlic powder, not salt. Not salt, I like and that. And then you follow that up with pepper. When you grind it, it's like a full bloom of flavor. So you don't really need that much of it. And then we're gonna do a little sprinkling of salt. And then behind that, we're going to go with a red pepper. And look at that, it's pretty. I feel like looking at this, I would tell somebody, whoa, Really? This is a lot of seasoning. But it's not. But it's not. Because you're going to be- All those flavors going together. Yes, okay. and the other okay. other impact that this is going to have is it's also going on the grill. Yes. And grilling burns off at least half of the spices you're putting on. Okay. okay. And I'm also sneaking in, even though it's off, off recipe here, what is, this? is what Burlap and Barrel sent me. It's purple shallot. This is okay. really potent. It, it shakes like flour, so you have to be careful. Okay. Okay, so now that we've done that, my trick is you have to do the other side, but I don't want you to have to touch it. Okay. So what I do oh, I is see where you're going here. piece of parchment over it, mm -hmm. and then another styrofoam okay. tray, cup it over it, voila. And we're gonna marinate this. And we're gonna slide it into here. Look at you. Yeah. Saving you time, giving us tips, we love that. We're going to make the sauce, which calls for a quarter cup of water. I'm gonna have you help. Also calls for a half a cup of the oyster sauce. Tell it's me about thick. oyster sauce. It's along the lines of marrying like brown sugar with Worcestershire. I'm nervous it's all oh, gonna you're just fine. come oh, no. flopping out at once. Well, if you tip the okay. bottle slightly, just like you would an old Heinz know, ketchup bottle. There behind. you go, just like Heinz there ketchup. There we go. Yay, she's got it. All Almost right. there. I can just see Just a pinch it. more, okay. and she's made it to the finish Yay. line. <laughs> yes. Add that to the okay. pan, then pour the orange juice into the cup and swish it around okay. so you can rinse out. We're gonna rinse it out a little bit. Yeah, Okay. give it a nice swish around. So you're getting that, because the oyster sauce is pretty thick. It is but it's got some great flavor. It packs packs its own little punch that makes it a great flavor okay. enhancer. And then on top of that, we're gonna add the three cloves of garlic that I've already okay. ran through the press. And you just use your fingers to knock it in okay. there. And since we went powdered with the previous, That's we're going great. with the freshly ginger. minced ginger. Because the fresh ginger offers a completely different flavor Absolutely. than the powdered. So good. It's more like ginger ale. And then we add a dash of the hot sauce. And then you're gonna add a the teaspoon of the cornstarch, and then you're just gonna use the fork to swish that all around. And we're gonna put this on a stove. We're gonna bring it up to a boil and let it simmer until it thickens, usually a couple Ooh, minutes. Yum. Nice and thick, beautiful, velvety sauce. Ready for our chicken. Cornstarch helps the sauce cling to the meat. And it's just a simple sprinkling of the cornstarch. And now we are officially ready to go grilling. Laura, we made it outside. Finally, yes. Finally, let's get grilling. What are we doing yes. with our chicken? We are gonna pop it on the grill, which we've got heated up, nice 400 degrees, and we've got our chicken already prepped. Right, and this marinated eight hours or longer. Yes, so we're gonna set this on. Nice hot part of the grill, and you wanna give them space, plenty of room to cook. And you wanna leave these on for quite a while before you flip them. Tell us about that. Yes, you want, to, you want them to cook fully and until they're nice and crisp before you start rotating them because that's what helps this, this, the uh, skin 
form a nice crispy sealed crust so that they don't keep dripping and all their fabulous juices end up in the bottom of your grill. Yeah, we don't want that. No. We want to taste all those beautiful yes, juices. Yes, we do. <laughs> and it does help if you close the lid. So we're going to close it. We're going to leave it on high and we're going to let it coast. I would say you can go seven to 10 minutes and then go ahead and give it a peek and see how it's looking. All right. So now that we have this nice crisp coating that the grill has so kindly blanketed our lovely chicken legs with, it's time to slather them with some of that beautiful basting sauce that we made in the house. Because this basting sauce has a high sugar content, you wanna wait till the very end of the cooking process. This is the perfect tailgate treat that gave you minimal work to do so you can actually enjoy whatever game you've pulled up to and also sit down and enjoy this wonderful chicken feast.